When you put a disk into a disk drive, you're taking a lot of things for granted. You're assuming that the computer will tell the disk drive to load the catalog of programs on that disk into the computer's random access memory. And that when you type load program X, the computer will tell the disk drive to search through the sectors of the disk until it finds that particular program and then load it. You're also assuming that the computer will know where on the disk to save programs or store data and so on and so forth. But how does the computer know all this? The answer is it doesn't. The average small computer hasn't the faintest idea how to operate a disk. What it needs is a disk operating system, commonly known as DOS. Now DOS could be built into the ROM memory of the computer, but to save memory space, it isn't. It usually comes on the disk itself. But how does the computer know how to load the DOS from the disk into its RAM memory? Again, it doesn't. Because the program to do this is also on the disk itself. So how does the poor old computer ever get off the ground in this business of disk operating? Well, luckily, there is one tiny little startup program in the computer's ROM memory, which contains just enough instructions to load the program on the disk that can load the DOS on the disk that can tell the computer how to operate the disk. Because this little startup program enables the computer to get off the ground, to lift itself up by its own bootstraps in a sense, it is called a bootstrap program. That is why when a computer loads DOS into its RAM memory, we say that it is bootstrapping DOS, or simply booting DOS.